Okay, hi guys, um, welcome to this tutorial on how to rip your CDs using DB Power Amp. It's a really good tool and uh, you can get it off the internet at free trial or get it for free. Like Pirate Bay or some torrent. I think I got this off, uh, off a torrent actually. Yeah, uh, anyway, let's get started. Um, I just put an audio CD in, it's the Rolling Stones, it's the only one that I could find basically. I don't really need it, so yeah. Okay, just open the CD Ripper. And you should load up this. You should scan your CD drive. If it doesn't, then you can select your CD drive using this here. Um, yeah, you've got this here. Um, probably wouldn't say accurate next to it. I think I ripped some of these before when I was trying out this software. Select your tracks by using these things here. I'm only going to do one because it's easy and takes less time. Uh, okay, and then you can select what file format you want to convert it to. I normally choose MP3. I've got quite a lot, of, quite a lot of the codex here. I think I've got. They all came with the uh, torrent. Um, I may post torrent that I downloaded it from in the description but uh, you can search for yourself yes yeah, so mp3 link um, path where you want to save save the audio track to once it's been ripped and don't really worry about the naming you can say how you want to basically but I don't bother about that I just like getting the file um, you can play the track if you want uh, the encoder settings you want you probably want to keep it variable bitrate quality VBR. You can choose constant bitrate uh, or any of these other things. I don't really really know these very well. So. Uh, just keep that at medium. Don't really like having large files. It's still really good quality here. Uh, you could you could you could set it up if you want. Um, keep that as at normal. Um, yeah, you can choose advanced. Uh, anyway, when you're done about one done that, you just press rip, and that will rip it to where you saved it. So I'll just rip that now. I'll just fast forward this. Okay, that's done. That will say accurate next to it if you connected with accurate rip. Yeah, you you say that at the start when you start the program. And we got it here, Rolling Stones album, and this is the track, MP3, and tells you everything about that. So yeah, that that will work fine when playing. I'm not going to play it now. Um, anyway, I'll just show you another way of doing like one track, ripping one track. You right-click Explore on your CD once you put it in, and um, choose the track that you want to rip. Um, you you should know which one you want, and if you associated DB Power Amp with your audio files, you should get this convert to. You click on that, and you can change this again. You know your file format that you want, uh, MP3, yeah, whatever, and uh, quality VBR, like just like the same that we did. That's not the easy way to do that. Um, and and now. The, well, I'll just show you one more way, which is basically the same. Just close. Um, just uh, go to your DB Power Amp Music Converter file again, and uh, you can open up this Music Converter here, and you browse to your CD, um, audio CD there. Double click and choose the file that you want. I think you can hold down Control here. Yeah can select the ones that you want and uh, that will convert it to the file or rip then convert so yeah that's it hope you enjoy this and hope you can rip some of your cds get them by